Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you what skins I think should be a priority for DICE to release as soon as possible and giving reasons for them. We would love every appearance ever in Star Wars in this game, but it's just not feasible for them, of course. And I'd be here all day talking about them. So in this video, the skins are just ones I feel like the community in general has won my opinions and some reasoning for those choices. If you find this video interesting be sure to drop a like as it would really help out the channel. Right now in this game there is an appearance drought. We've had literally no trooper skins for any factions but the clones in the past 12 months and most of the launch heroes and villains as well. We did get the amazing white dress Leah skin from A New Hope in May with the community challenge but we should have more of these or even ones that can be purchased and no challenge is attached to them. As I mentioned in a recent video I stand behind the decision to focus on more trooper skins because we actually use them for the majority of playtime unlike hero skins. I also won't be discussing vehicle and starfighter skins in this video, just focusing on trooper and hero skins for now. Whilst I agree with Ben that adding too many skins would oversaturate the game and be a bad thing, there are some iconic characters and troopers that have no option for players expressing themselves such as Maul and Luke Skywalker. Alright, so let's get started with Luke. I cannot move forward without voicing my strong opinions on this. Luke is the main character of the original trilogy and the character so many of us aspired to be growing up. And yet, we only have his default Jedi skin and an additional Hoth appearance, which is from the last game. That is it. No Bespin outfits, no farm boy skin, no Dagobah look. Like I said, Luke for a lot of us is our favourite character, yet he only has two options. And the non-default appearance is one we saw over three years ago from DICE as a community challenge in the last game. Seeing as Leah now has the New Hope skin, I'd love to see the Farm Boy Luke skin release. There are a ton of Luke skins we could have. I could go on for hours, but I think just for now, I'd be happy if we just got him very, very soon. Same goes for Han. I'm very satisfied with the selection we have for Han, unlike Luke, of course, because he only has two. But... I think we need the New Hope hand skin soon as well because the RK challenge beard skin, well, I need that beard gone. Jay did say that both the episode 4 skins for Luke and Han are on the list of ones they want to get to, so fingers crossed we can get the Luke skin in the near future at least. Hero skins are all well and good, but typically cost around 40,000 credits and you just don't use them nowhere near as much as troopers, meaning people are less likely to buy them. Why would you buy a skin for a hero that you struggle to get hold of because, well, people are picking them in Galactic Assault or Cap Supremacy before you get chance? Yes, you can play heroes versus villains and arcade, but still, you're not using them all the time, whereas trooper skins... It's the bread and butter of Battlefront. That's what the combat is focused around. The infantry combat, and we need more of them. I know Clone Trooper fans want more Legions, but you have to remember how many options you've had in the past nine months or so. No other faction has received new Trooper skins, which sucks, especially for those who don't like clones. Yes, there are people who have different opinions and like the other factions and eras more. I'm going to have to start with the Empire. A Shock Trooper skin is needed. It looks great. It was in the last game. It was even made into a life-size helmet toy branded as seen in Battlefront 2. Yet 18 months after release, no Shock Trooper is in the game. Like... How does that happen? I know the Shadow Trooper would be cool, but Dennis did mention recently that because of the introduction of Death Troopers, Star Wars canon has seen them sort of go away. That even means the Lego sets can be wrong canon-wise. There's actually a lot more leniency when it comes to Lego Van games. A Shore Trooper would also be a nice addition, because it's actually in the game already, in the Scarif missions of the story. Again, there are so many I could go on about, but I feel like those few would be a good start for the Empire troops, at least at this moment in time. I feel like the Empire needs the next set of skins more than any other faction. We love the Empire, and there is so many options that just aren't in the game. As for the Rebels, more options of standard trooper looks and others we saw in the previous game would add a lot more freedom and flavour to the lackluster line of skins. More alien races too. This would translate well with the Resistance as well. I just don't know why the Empire and Rebels have not gotten the treatment that they deserve. 
Next up, I'm going to be talking about the villains, because they have a lack of skins in comparison to the heroes. For Dooku and Grievous, it's fine. They have three appearances in total, two additional ones, but they came out recently. What about the heroes that people actually do like using as well that came out at launch? Only Kylo and Aiden actually have skins from the launch heroes. How disappointing is that? Regardless, Maul having a hooded skin or something similar to what we see him look like in the Clone Wars would be a fantastic addition and finally give this much-loved character some way of looking like his various incarnations. Vader having a battle damage skin would be so awesome. A legendary skin it would be. But we're not really sure how it would work with official canon material, as Jay has referred to this in the past. He seems to have been giving us hints that it's not going to happen for that reason. Palpatine having an episode 3 style red robes would be really cool, and I think many of us who love the Senate himself, especially in Revenge of the Sith, would want this skin. As for even more simpler skins, a default Kylo skin with no hood would be a very small but welcomed addition. Anakin the Chosen One, the Broken One, Kylo's Grandfather, whatever. If DICE had to give him a skin, it would be the General Skywalker skin for sure. Matching Obi-Wan's General skin, us Clone Wars fans would love to see it. And it should be easier than doing the Episode 2 outfit for Anakin, which a lot of people actually want, which really surprises me. I have seen some people say all they have to do is recolor Obi-Wan's outfit, except that's not true. The armor does actually vary in shape and size a little. And for some reason, people thought this skin was coming, despite Dice never actually alluding to it and playing it down, saying it was not in the works as of then. Speaking of Clone Wars, the droid army is missing skins. There is no customization options for the droids except for the Geonosis B1 skin, which is default when playing on Geonosis. Simple stuff that would not mess with the trooper class, visual identities too much, like colour branding on options, would be appreciated. Also, skins for the commando droids and art troopers would be great in my opinion, but I don't think it should be a priority as of now. It will be nice to have later on though. Finally, the First Order, in my opinion, could do with a pauldron colour customization system along with the Empire, if it was to work out canonically. Having a red, white, black and orange option would be a small but welcomed thing, and again, the First Order has some really cool designs, but they're not embraced in this game. I know I've not touched on heroes like Rey, Yoda, Finn, or even specific skins for the Resistance and some other factions, but I feel like the stuff I've covered in this video are a lot of what the community would like to see in a general sense. I'd rather take one brand new skin for a hero that looks completely different over three or so minor skins for other heroes, but there is definitely room for improvement, more so in the trooper department. As much as I love this game, I'm severely disappointed with the lack of customization options for some of my favourite characters and factions. The Empire has amazing designs, yet we have no options, but for officers, why? I really have no answer, and I don't want to sound too negative in this video compared to my other videos, but these are my genuine thoughts on content missing from this game. That is not new heroes or maps. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything, so in the comment section down below, be sure to share your opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button if you did, and subscribe and turn notifications on if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them, and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.